How to start a cooking club. Are you a foodie? Do you love to cook? Do you love gathering with friends over a great meal, but don't want to do all the work yourself? Consider starting a cooking club, where you cook and eat together. It's a great way to deepen your friendships while enjoying terrific food. Starting out. Consider whether this is for you. If you love to talk and think all things food, find your bliss when shopping food and end up more often than not at the farmer's market to do your food shopping, then you're the perfect candidate to start a cooking club. If you love talking about food with others, and enjoy all the nuances and specifics about special food products, a cooking club will provide you with the outlet to share this love with people who have the exact same passion. No more need to talk endlessly about the intricacies of food to a bewildered spouse or family member, use the club to get this out of your system. Wh.shared.scrollo.img underscore 4F679E88F If your cookbook collection has its very own bookshelf and is bulging at the seams, it's time to get the books down and start cooking those recipes with fellow foodies. Wh.shared.scrollo.img underscore 2E3E7F53AO Ask yourself what you want to get out of the club. Do you want to save money, make new friends, discover new cuisines, share recipes, etc.? You may have various motivators, and it's important to recognize these up front, so that you can begin tailoring the club toward this end and attract like-minded members. wh.shared.scrollo.img underscore 96A59E4A81 If you love talking about food with others, and enjoy all the nuances and specifics about special food products, a cooking club will provide you with the outlet to share this love with people who have the exact same passion. No more need to talk endlessly about the intricacies of food to a bewildered spouse or family member, use the club to get this out of your system. If your cookbook collection has its very own bookshelf and is bulging at the seams, it's time to get the books down and start cooking those recipes with fellow foodies. Ask yourself what you want to get out of the club. Do you want to save money, make new friends, discover new cuisines, share recipes, etc.? You may have various motivators, and it's important to recognize these up front, so that you can begin tailoring the club toward this end and attract like-minded members. Find fellow foodies. A group of people who enjoy cooking is essential to creating a vibrant club. These people don't have to be close pals of yours, or even of each other, when the club starts. Rather, they have to be willing to pitch in and share in the cooking, and be the type that would actually enjoy that. Five or six people is a good size, especially if you're all trying to cook in one kitchen. Advertise online for possible foodie club members. Use Facebook, Twitter, Meetup and other resources to find people. Leave small advertisements on community bulletin boards, inviting people to come along to a first meeting. Ask foodie friends along and ask them to see if they know of anyone who might like to come along as well. When seeking members, think carefully about the criteria. You might want people with families, single people, people with a busy lifestyle, etc. Whatever matches your own needs is a good place to begin. Specify the parameters as part of your advertising. Decide where to hold the first club meeting. You may wish to have the first meeting at your house, if you feel it's safe enough to do so. It's always advisable to have other people you know and trust around when you first meet the new club members. If you're not sure about bringing them into your home to begin with, hold the first meeting at a local cafe, bar or restaurant anywhere you can share and critique food together. After the club is established, the idea is to use your home kitchens and dining areas, once the trust is in place. At the first meeting, discuss meeting dates. Use an online calendar with reminder notices to help keep track of the cooking club dates. Try to aim for a regular monthly date. It's important to realize that not all members will manage to make every meeting build that reality into the flexibility of your meetups.